Well, it's been a long, arduous journey, 7,000 miles, 27 hours later, three continents. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dubai. Welcome back to United Arab Emirates. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. SC30 Lamborghini Huracan Spider. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That guy's a G. He did that for us. I like that guy. Now, I don't want to drop too much knowledge on you guys, but the Burj Khalifa is the highest freestanding structure in the world, 2,716.5. Feet. I definitely 100% did not look that up on Wikipedia. The tallest building in the world. It is so crazy. If you've never been to Dubai, you got to come here because seeing this building in real life is simply jaw dropping. So today, boys, we are going supercar and hypercar shopping in Dubai. I would reckon per capita, there are more cars in Dubai than anywhere in the world. The supercar game here in Dubai is out of control. No, no, that silly van wrecked my clip. There's an SC30 Huracan with a purple Urus right there. That brother man completely ruined my moment, but. It doesn't matter. It was a Urus and a Huracan. That was crazy he, like, though. You. He I know. He thought I was filming him. The color palette here is so crazy. STO and Verde Citre with orange accents. I dig that. I like that color. I think it's pretty That's cool. way good. I hate to be that guy, but that front end lift is up, which means that guy has not gone over 31 miles an hour in his Lamborghini. Why well, bought a Urus though? I like that a lot. That's sick. Sophia and I are debating right now. The girl driving this white Urus looks just like the Bentley girl. You know who I'm talking about. She does all the TikToks where she's like, Bentley, Jeep Lamborghini, Lamborghini. You know who I'm talking about. Exactly That's her. That is her. 100% that is her. That's her. That's 100% her. her. What? Don't, we were right. I told 100%. you. 100% white Urus. We found her. Do the best impression. <laughs> Jeep Ogini. Jeep Ogini. If you guys have not seen my YouTube short, Jeep Ogini. I don't know about you guys, but the new Maserati MC20 convertible, that thing's sick. I want one of those. It has a V6 twin turbo, which is not ideal, but on the road here in Dubai, that is a pink Bra that is a Jimny. That is a pink Brabus Jimny with blue interior. We got to park. We have to park for Clayton Stark. That is his all-time dream car in his dream car spec. We have seen the coolest cars in the world, but I would reckon this right here. This is a Brabus Jimny that goes from pink to purple with a yellow and blue interior. This is my buddy Clayton's absolute dream car in my dream car spec. Like this combines the best of both worlds. Yeah. This thing is so sick. So it's a Suzuki Jimny that has a Brabus kit to make it look like a mini G-Wagon. This color palette is so crazy. This does not even feel real. I am convinced that Dubai is a simulation. It this is. makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, so start up, cold start up. That sounds proper. This thing is a cloud car. This is amazing. Why are Jimnys not legal in the United States of America? It has a... It it's got the starlight light. with pink lights. It just gets better and better. You look beautiful. I mean, you look beautiful in everything, but I think a Suzuki Jimny fits you just a little bit right? better. Yeah. It just seems proper. I'm gonna buy one of those for you someday. I am. I'm gonna do. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What it's are you like saying? A little Barbie doll. That's like, why you're gonna love it. It's like a little mini Brabus G wagon. To give you guys the full perspective, that is a G wagon. That is a Suzuki Jimny with the G wagon body kit. You can see proportionally, it's about half the size. I keep saying that the Jimny is not allowed in the United States of America. Well, it just so happens that my beautiful girlfriend Sophia is not an American citizen. <laughs> they are legal in Canada. Are they? They are, 100%. I'm gonna be the first to admit, I don't know everything about Porsche, but I know a 997 GT2 in that color that's crazy. So I have absolutely no idea where we are in Dubai, but there are just supercars dumped everywhere. We got two Nissan GTRs. And check out this Maybach right here. Like, what is going on? There was a time and a place that was one of the most expensive cars money could buy, and now it's just sitting up on concrete blocks. We have a Huracan right there, and we have a man in a van. Look at the color on this Porsche GT3. That is beautiful. I don't know how to describe that, but I like it. Little OG orange Gallardo. Uh oh, a little bit of a dent. No big deal, I can buff out. Ferrari 599 GTO, the Gran Turismo Amalagato. I think one of the craziest things about Dubai is how aesthetically pleasing it is. Because think about it, we're in the middle of the desert and there are flowers in bloom everywhere. I don't even want to figure out how much water this takes to keep these babies alive. It's absolutely beautiful. I just love how every single place you go, no matter what, there are Lamborghinis everywhere. Green Huracan Spider right there. So I'm on the hunt for my next supercar, which leads me to today's video sponsor, Vero. For the last couple of months, I've been looking for my new supercar and I've narrowed it down to three final choices, but there's a slight caveat. All three cars have been crashed. All three cars need to be rebuilt. We're finally going to do our first supercar rebuild series on YouTube and I'm 
super excited about it. I'm gonna post a photo of each car on my Vero. I want you guys to go like, I want you guys to go comment, go vote, tell me which car you think I should buy for my first rebuild series. Now I've been on Vero for the last year and the supercar community is blowing up. Check out the link in the description below. You can actually download Vero for free. Give me a follow. My username is at the Stradman and on Vero, there's no ads and there's no algorithm. Now I've been posting on Vero for the last year and it's been so much fun interacting and engaging with you guys. For example, the vanity plate for the Koenigsegg, the license plate, a Garrett HH 6200 likes was the clear winner. Now I got to verify with Utah and DMV that that license plate is actually available. You can see the road trip across uh, Canada with the Huracan Strato, Sophia doing donuts like an absolute champ. Where did you learn to drive like that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I taught her everything she knows. Also, the video quality is so incredible on Vero. When the Hamilton collection was here, trying to buy the next hypercar, the LM002 road trip, the carbon fiber event to rebuild. And if you click this photo, the Mercy SV, click the hashtag cars. You can see there is so much car content on Vero. And as I said, as soon as this video drops, I'm gonna post a photo of each car on my Vero that needs to be rebuilt. I want you guys to go in there. I want you guys to vote. I'm so curious to see which car you're gonna like the best. They're all very, very, very cool. Check out the link in the description below and join me on Vero. The three cars that I'm looking at, one is an NAV12, there's another NAV12, and, and, and there's a NAV10. Maybe I said too much. Look at that thing! What? Okay, we gotta park. I'm not personally like the biggest fan of the Bentley Ventega. This thing is crazy. So cool. Full turquoise exterior, full turquoise interior. You have all the exposed carbon fiber, the forged carbon fiber, the Mansory Ventega. Look at so that. Awesome. That is absolutely beautiful. I gotta step on inside. This thing is crazy. The interiors here in Dubai are absolutely next level. This is 10 of 10. Look at this thing. What? They do it best in Dubai. I would be mad if all your cars were this color. Okay, okay. The turquoise army. Yeah. Dealerships here in Dubai are out of control. We have the Mansory Stallone Ferrari 812. The spec on this thing is so good. I've been doing a lot of back and forth trying to decide, do I want to get this kit for my 812? It looks absolutely insane. I love this color. I don't know. I think that would be the craziest 812 build ever. I love it. I don't even know exactly what's going on right now. You'd notice the FF, sure. But what happened to that guy? What is going on? That Kia got nailed. And then we have the highlighter green Ferrari FF. Um, no comment. No comment. Well, welcome here to VIP Motors, one of the best supercar and hypercar dealerships in the world. Well, they say timing is everything. Check this out, a 1 of 40 Bugatti Devo here at VIP Motors. The mad blue, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. And as luck would have it, I'm going for a ride. The interior on this car is absolutely out of control. One of my favorite details, right down the center, you can see it's actually lighter blue on that side and darker blue on this side. It creates just the coolest effect. And of course, you got the center seat as well for sheer on. Blue carbon here in the direct sunlight is so incredibly beautiful. You got the bronze wheels with the French flag as well. The side profile on this car is absolutely killer. Both Sophia and I are absolutely in love with this Mansory Urus. I can't take my eyes off of the interior. It's almost a Miami blue interior. Like it, it matches the Miata perfectly. I just cannot figure out how you actually get in the back seats, but I guess in this thing, it doesn't really matter. You got all the kind of like forged carbon fiber. The design of this thing is so sick. It's like a color shift satin matte paint that goes from purple to turquoise to blue. The start button on this thing is actually on the ceiling. Ready? Let's hear it. Straight pipe, twin turbo V. Oh my gosh! That thing is definitely loud. What in the world? I want this thing so bad. The problem is it's worth going to a million dollars. Oh, hey, don't get too excited now. I think we might have found your favorite car. I Maybe. Like it a lot. This thing is so crazy. Lamborghini should have made a two door Urus. It just gives it like a sportier feel. And this carbon fiber design, I don't know exactly how they did this, but that is so unique. You have three spoilers. And of course, anytime you come to VIP Motors, you have to get the bird's eye perspective. Okay, Sophia, you can only have one car here. What are you taking? The wire. The wire, purple 100%. carbon wire. I love it. I love it. I think I would take. Also, Purple Ford GT is sick. I think I take the La Faperta. But this perspective on the AMG one, so you can pick that up for a cool $6.33 million. Veyron Vitesse 2, I love this perspective. This is absolute insanity. $6.3 million. Do we have that lying around? Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't. But maybe someday we will. You never know. That is a Rolls Royce drop head. Are you kidding me? Yellow? That's sick. I want to get one of those and I want to turn it into an off road monster. Yay or nay? 
Yay. Yes, ma'am. I think the main road through Dubai might be one of the craziest roads in the entire world. Like, I feel like I'm living in some kind of fantasy world. It almost feels like CGI. The buildings are so crazy, so tall. You have the Museum of Dubai right there. I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sheikh Zayed Road in central Dubai. One of the craziest parts about all this, none of this existed 35 years ago in the year 1990. Like, none of this. This is all new construction. You can see the tallest hotel there in the world, the Javora Hotel. This place, I mean, just the colors and the different styles of architecture is just insanity. That skyscraper looks like a complete ripoff of the Singapore one, but who cares? Who cares? And of course, the Burj Khalifa. This place, craziest city in the world. Welcome to Dubai. Timing has got to be perfect right here. The Singapore building is going to perfectly frame the Burj Khalifa right, right there. Perfect money. Seems like the number one car here in the Middle East is a Brabus G-Wagon, especially in a crazy color. I like that blue. It's almost a Viper blue. Okay, speed bump. Hold on, race. SF90. There are so many dealerships here, it's ridiculous. Well, anytime you come to Dubai, you gotta visit a lane class, and right inside the showroom, I see three cone exec. Well, we've been to some pretty beautiful places in our day, but I don't think we have ever been anywhere more beautiful than a lane class motor cars. We have the Agera R, the Regera, and another Regera, and all three, ironically, are full exposed carbon fiber. And this Agera R, I actually spotted this car in California, I wanna say in 2016, 2017, white interior too. So the Agera R can run on the E85. So my car is an Agera S, it doesn't have the E85. So this car has about 15 to 20% more horsepower. This spec gives me a little bit of envy, but I also love my car too. And then this Regera, full blue carbon fiber with that white interior. One car you can pick. Here, what are you taking? The Sophia's inspecting the waffle carbon fiber. And uh, now you want waffle love. You want waffle love. I don't know if you guys can tell. Look at the carbon fiber weave on this Mansri Veyron. It is a waffle weave. A waffle weave. Yeah. Waffle weave. That sounds very, very technically correct. Accurate. Absolutely. The Mansri Veyron, though, I tell you what, Mansri, a lot of people love them, a lot of people hate them. I'm a believer. Immediately straight to the back to check out the Countach, the LPI 800. And we're getting more exclusive access here at Elaine Class. There's a second hidden showroom with a red Carrera GT, an SLS Black Series. This place is crazy. 675 LT. We have an Eleanor, a 765 LT, and of course a P1 GTR. If I had a Regera, I would just open it and close it 24-7. It is just the coolest party trick, and the interior on this one is absolutely beautiful. Christian von Koenigsegg, I gotta salute you. There is just nothing cooler than this. Oh my goodness. My oh my. This full carbon fiber is just absolutely mesmerizing to look at. Well, you hate to see her go, but goodness gracious, a full carbon lineup of Koenigseggs. Now that, that is a spot. Chiron Super Sports. Welcome to Q, Mo Q Motor, Q Motor. Oh my, oh my. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to actual heaven on earth. Are you kidding me? This is insanity. If you guys like Lamborghinis, they got those. If you like Ferraris, yep, they got those as well. Every single color, every single spec imaginable. What? This is a Joker spec that is Viola Hong Kong with a green interior F8. I'm not gonna say I'm a fan, but I'm okay with it. The chrome and the chrome on the Veyron and another La Ferrari. I don't even know how many Law Ferraris we've seen. I feel like we've seen half the production, Already, yeah. and they're all red with a black roof. And of course, we gotta check out the Mirage GT, the Gimbala Mirage, one of the greatest kits of all time. The spec on this thing is killer V10 manual. Yes, sir. One car I've never fully understood is the McLaren Elva. How amazing does it feel to drive 70 miles an hour in a car without a windshield eating a bugs? bugs yeah. yeah, a lot, a lot of bugs. I mean, they probably have a little bit of protein, but probably not enough protein to make it worth it. So McLaren Elva, this car is worth like two point whatever million dollars. And I don't think I would, I don't think I'd drive, I don't think I'd drive it. I really wouldn't. Well, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video. I told you guys, I made a proclamation that Dubai has the best supercars, the best hypercars in the world. And I think it's safe to say I rest my case. And on that bombshell, today's video is over.